Hey guys, so welcome back. So let's talk about Among Us! The fourth episode, let's talk about gaming. And I'm moving this to a Monday time slot, guys. So next week, we'll have it on Mondays. Which be, will be followed by my TikTok Tuesdays, which I'm merging both those together to create a daytime block of programs. And so because of that, I'm no longer going to record on weekends. I'm now a weekday YouTuber now. So you'll see content weekdays, but not on weekends. I'm sorry, guys. Because I've expanded my daytime programs, I have to. I'm gonna give the weekends back to you guys. But anyways, let's talk about Among Us. So in case you know, I have two live streams of Among Us. I love playing Among Us, guys. It's so much fun. But right now, I would. I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think Among Us is? What is What do you guys like about Among Us? Do you guys like the killing? I know there's love killing in it, and there's that's called the imposter. And that's why in the game it's called their imposters among us. Get it? Because there's um, imposters among us. <laughs> why do you think they call it among us? And what's your guys' favorite part about Among Us? What do you guys like to see in Among Us? Let me know guys let me know guys in the comments below what do you guys like in Among Us? <sighs> you guys gotta love Among Us. <sighs> Alright. My you guys can find me on Among Us, I think it's Star Wolf 17, I think. I don't know, I haven't played in a while. I got back on the COD yesterday, but right afterwards I got back on Minecraft. And that's the next episode, Monday's episode. Let's talk about Minecraft. I have a lot of stuff to talk about Minecraft there. But anyway guys, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want me to do more, let's talk about gaming. Be sure to hit that like button in the face. And stay tuned for Monday's episode, let's talk about gaming. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that notification bell so you never know if I upload. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Hey guys, Michael Starseed here. I'm going to talk about the top 10 things you should never, which means 0% say to Siri. I pulled up a web search, so I'm going to thank the person who made this website possible. Alright, top 10. Emergency number. Apparently here you should never say these numbers to Siri. Saying things like 999 or 911 or are similar, which will somehow trigger Siri into calling your a local emergency services. The number... 108, which Siri also is, is used for emergency services in India. So I should, I recommend that you should not say this to Siri. Save the numbers for true emergencies only. Keep the lines clear for people who truly need emergency help. Number nine, no new names for Siri. Siri loves to be called as Siri and not Charlotte or Keith, for instance. Siri has nothing to do or she does not want to take any part of her having her name changed. If you change Siri's name, she will say something like this. But everyone else calls me Siri or no, I am Siri and Siri I shall remain. Number eight, never ask why am I here. According to here, you should, it says, God forbid if you're stuck somewhere in the middle of something and depressed to the core, never bother Siri. The Cold Heart app could ha will have brutal answers to your questions, which will make you feel worse. For example, if you say, what am I doing and why am I here? Citizens will be literally, she has been working the same and why you we are here and alive. Now, now that's weird. Number seven, don't have Siri call your boyfriend or girlfriend. Apparently, if you have Siri add in one of your contacts as your boyfriend or girlfriend... And if you're with a new boyfriend or girlfriend, and when you tell them to call them and they call your ex, they'll totally get your relationship down the toilet. Never ask Siri about Jon Snow, which is number six. Siri will totally give up on this, and she doesn't know exactly if Jon Snow is alive or dead. She'll say, has he tried to be starting? That always seems to work or something. Let me go on to the next one. Number five, what should I wear for a party? Siri is not a, the fashion police. What a reply that one gets when someone asks what, I should, what they should wear for a party. Why ask Siri? Siri has a laundry list of replies for such type of questions. 
For example, wear anything that our family won't be scared of. In the cloud or sky, nobody knows what you're wearing. In fact, and the last one is nobody bothers. Just wear something. Number four, what is the meaning of life? Now one can't, cannot blame Siri for some, which is bizarre. Siri is an official intelligent app that provides intel, intel, intel or help when required, but she has nothing about the meaning of life, so you have to learn that on your own. Never ask Siri how old she is. Many iPhone users assume that Siri might be a female who is obnoxious, obnoxious and angry 24-7. Many never asked a woman how old is she. It offends her. Similarly, similarly, never ask Siri the same. If you happened to, then the reply might be the following. Why does it matter? Are you going to marry me? I'm as young as the part one. Funny Siri. We should all. We all should. Let's say. Never. All right. Number two. What came first, chicken or the egg? She does. Siri's not good with this type of question. She is a robot, not a human, so she doesn't know what came first, or the chicken or the egg. I'm just going to end number two there. Number one, flirting with Siri. Now, having established what Siri has so far said, it's easier to gauge the responses when you start flirting with this app. It's a tough task to flirt with Siri, and it should master the art. So it might break your heart and pull you in awkward positions if you tackle, if not tackled properly. Siri has no feelings, so she's so she will just let you down. So never say something like says, "Talk dirty to me" or "Will you marry me?" She'll just deny you in an angry way. Well, that's it for the video. If you have any questions, are you? Or you have a question of what you shouldn't and should say to Siri, go to the comments below. Anything I missed out on, be sure to comment below and you will find, I will read the comments and you will, and sometime your question will be answered or anything about Siri. Bye bye, this is Michael Starseed. Be sure to subscribe to the Starseed Pack. Have a nice day. Hey guys, what's up? So, while we were off camera, I couldn't save my video. So, I'm filming a new one. Anyway, we lost Miranda, so now we got Miranda 2 right here. So, anyway, let's go to Animal Chooser. And it chose... Dogs! Yeah, obviously. Let's go to the dogs. It wants... James. Okay, we'll take James with us. And which one is that? Uh... Victoria James, here we go. Alright. So in case you know it's 1.17. Okay, we got James and and it's gonna be raining, obviously. So let's go down here to the base. Don't worry, no rain is able to be in there. Alright. So while I was off camera, uh oops, sorry Leah. Let's go here. This is what the wolf is guarding. Oh yeah, we got Sally right there. Anyway, let's go over to this. We got my chain helmet. Alright, we got the first of the chain helmet. We gotta get three more chain items. Let me check if I have those right here in my... Let me check if I have the extra right here. Uh, that's not the right one. Uh, I don't see any chain mail. But I do see a lot of worn down armor. Alright. Well, you know, in case you know, this is not hexed, so you can't put rotten flesh in it. It won't make leather. That only works in hexed. Let's see, do we got any stuff that could be smelted? So, yeah, 1.17 came out, and I'm gonna demonstrate what you can do in 1.17. Let me show you what happens when you mine ores without silk touch. Did I? Oh my, I lost. Yeah, I forget. I lost my thing. So let's just get that. Let's get the crafting table. Turn these into ingots. I know the recipe 
by heart, so we don't need. Oh, James, why don't you sit down right there? So do you see this new iron ore? So without self touch, here's what drops in 1 bit 17. Look at that. Raw iron. Uh, can you smelt this with, um... I don't know if you can turn that into copper. But it doesn't look like you can. But with 1.7, you can make a block of raw gold now. Which is very convenient since I have a lot of these. Let's, t let's turn the rest of this into... Let's turn the rest into, um... Let's turn the rest into raw iron. Let's keep doing this. And there we go, and let's turn this all into raw iron. I'm pretending it, I'm gonna turn this into, um, block of raw iron because I don't need any more I don't need any more regular iron. You can smelt this to make regular iron. Wait, how much do I need? Uh let's check this. How much of it do we need? We just we can just smelt this into two we could just smelt two of these. That's really cool that you can do that. I got all this via silk touch, so oh, that was not meant to be used. Alright. Oh, it's gravel. All right. Let's take two of these. Okay. Here's what we can do. I'm gonna just take you out just two. And we can spot that into ingots. And let's smelt the Let's get the rest of these. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of raw iron. Let's turn this all into that. Until I really need it, we're not gonna use it. It's not really essential for me to use, and we'll put that in there. All right. Oh, I thought I thought that damaged my um anvil, but I realize I'm not using it, the anvil. All right, and let's, let's turn this into a block. So that's one of the new things you can get in 1.17. Armor. I'm still trying to find. I'm still trying to find copper, but no luck, unfortunately. But I might find some. Oh yeah, I also got some slime balls. Let's turn this into slime blocks. There we go. Oh yeah, we also got some gas tear. Don't know where I got the gas tear from. So, let's go over to the crafting table. What was that? I thought there was some kind of zombie that infiltrated. So let's turn that on. We can get raw copper. But right now we'll need to get a wax block of copper to get that. Oh yeah, and you can also get spyglass now. That's one of the new features you can get now in 1.17. And you can get a clock, but I don't want a clock. Now with 1.17, I think you can also get spawn eggs. I am not going to do that in creative. Uh, we can get amethyst shards, but I don't have... I've not had any luck with amethyst. Oh, yeah. Let's get that real quick. Uh. It wasn't hard to get extras. So yeah, guys. Now with 1.17, when it part one, you got, you actually have to get self touch to get the, the block now, or the ore. You can't get it without self. 
You can't get it without without self touch. Although in the past you were able to, I did it like once in 1.16. All right, let's put this stuff back. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the name tags out of the metals and gems section. Um, do I, I don't think I got any extra space. Oh, here we go. Let's put all this stuff back in here. It's not essential. I don't need no potato right now. I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, let's put the gunpowder in here. We'll put the sticks in there for now. All right. Uh, let's get James back. Okay, James. Come with me. Don't worry, guys. Dogs do not sit on chests. All right. Let's get in here. So, guys, if you guys enjoyed one, if you guys enjoyed this awesome video, I recommend liking the video. Oh, yeah, that's cute. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like the video and subscribe. I am Michael Stahl of content you will enjoy.